I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we are going to learn all the important steps which you need to know to solve any trigonometric equation. We'll begin with very simple example which has just a single ratio. Example here is cos of x equals to minus square root 3 over 2 where x is between 0 and 2 pi. My idea is if you can follow some steps and do a simple question like this, then you should be in a position to solve any trigonometric equation, including linear, quadratic and their combination. So I'll take you through uh, four basic steps which should be followed to solve any quadratic equation, right? So my first step is that whenever you're solving a quadratic equation, look for the quadrant in which solution may lie. So that is first thing, quadrant in which the solution may lie. The second step is always find a relative acute angle or reference angle as you may say. So acute angle or, or you can say reference angle. Now so that is a very important step. Now once you know the quadrant and the relative acute or reference angle, then you can write the solution. So clearly write all possible solutions. Don't miss on that. All possible solutions, right? And the last most important is to check your answer. So these are the basic steps which you may follow to get or to solve trigonometric equation. Rather, they will work in most of the cases for any trigonometric equation, right? So let's begin by finding out the quadrant in which cos of something is negative value. Now, for that, you can take help of the rules which you've learned. You know, in any quadrant, in the first quadrant, all trigonometric ratios are positive. In second quadrant, it is sine which is positive tan in third and cosine in fourth quadrant, correct? So when we say that cos is negative, that means we're looking for two solutions at least. One of them is in quadrant two and the other one is in quadrant three. Since cos is positive in quadrant one and in quadrant four, correct? These are our quadrants, right? We have quadrant one, quadrant two, three and four. Some of you remember this rule as all students take calculus or the cast rule cosine all sine tan or all silver t cup, right? So anyway, you remember first step is this. So basically what we figured out is that the solution lies for us in quadrant two and in quadrant three, right? So that is how we should think before even attempting to solve trigonometric equation. That's what I'm saying. Now the next step is to find the relative acute angle. We know that the question is cos of x equals to minus square root 3 over 2, but we have to first find the acute angle. Then you get two answers. If you do cos inverse of this number using calculator, you'll only get one answer. So incomplete solution will result in poor marks. So what we will do here is we will write this question as cos of alpha where alpha is our acute angle equals to square root 3 over 2. Drop the sign. Don't use negative. Since in quadrant 1 all are positive. Got it? So now alpha is equals to cos inverse of square root 3 over 2. So at this stage you can use calculator or you can use special triangle. Got it? So calculator shift cos inverse within brackets square root of 3 and then you divide this by 2 bracket close. Well there are two brackets which I have placed here so I'll do equals to and what I get here is 30 degrees. So I'm getting answer in degrees. Well our domain is is in radians 0 to 2 pi. Correct? So we have to write answer in radians. So remember that. So 30 degrees is pi by 6. So we get acute angle is pi by 6. 
Now, in this case, what we should do is we can also use special triangles. So let me just sketch one, right? So that is a special triangle, 30, 60, 90, where, as you know, the sides are 1, 2, square root 3 for the angles, which are pi by 3, pi by 6, and pi by 2. So cos is square root 3 over 2, adjacent over hypotenuse, correct? So, so which is 4 pi by 6. And therefore, from the special triangle also, you get your answer. Some of you may even write soka 2 on top, right? Sin is opposite over hypotenuse. Cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. And tan is opposite over adjacent. Any way you do, you have to get this answer for acute angle. Follow any of those methods, right? Any combination. But get the acute angle. Don't straight away get the answer, right? So what we got here is the reference acute angle, which is pi by 6 for us. So we can kind of sketch it here just to show. And now we know this angle is the acute angle pi by 6, which gives cos of x as square root 3 over 2. That is not our solution. We need to find x. What is x equals to? To find what x is equal to, we have to look for a principal angle in quadrant 2 and 3. So we will extend this and find the two principal angles. So the solutions for us are indeed, one is this angle, correct? So we say x is equal to, how much is that? So acute angle is pi by 6. So this is 5 pi by 6, right? So we could say pi minus pi by 6 is one solution. Let me call this x1. The other solution will be pi plus pi by 6. So these are the two solutions which will give us all the solutions within the given domain of 0 to 2 pi, correct? pi minus pi by 6 is 5, pi by 6, and pi plus pi by 6 is 7, pi by 6. Now you have to write your answer very clearly, and your answer is x is equals to 5 pi by 6 and 7 pi by 6. These are the two answers. The last part, which is also very important, is just check. You have your calculator with you, just substitute the value, check. Do you get minus square root 3 over 2? It takes a second, but it really helps you to ensure that you got the right answer. These steps are very important for the beginners. Once you master these steps, then, then it will be very easy for you to solve any trigonometric equation. I hope that helps. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe to my videos and learn a lot. So in this set of videos, I have a couple examples dealing with just single ratio. Go through these examples, master them, and then you can take up trigonometric equations with compound angles, with linear equations, quadratic equations, anything you want. All the best, and I hope you appreciate it. Thank you.